What's going on? Uh, yeah, I'm back again. Here wrapping up the wild card weekend. Um, man, I took a hard one. One and three on the weekend. Only one I got right was the Texans and the uh, Bengals. So let me start off by first and foremost. I want to thank you all for you know tuning in, giving me a listen. I'm going to keep them coming. I'm going to start going live here soon, but... Figure, let me get a couple podcasts in, build my audience up, then we'll go live to where I have it, to where, you know, I can get people to call in, ask questions, or, you know, give comments, whatever the case may be. Um, But to all my football people out there, me, firstly, I do want to say I apologize. I apologize sincerely, sincerely to Ray Lewis. Oh, my God. I said last week, you know, people didn't fear him or he doesn't pump fear into anybody any longer. The way he played is amazing. Outstanding. You come off of that, you come off that type of injury, you come out there and you play. 13 tackles, I think he had a couple passes batted, he almost had a pick. Um, I mean, he was out there like Terminator, he had the robotic arm. Jesus, he was killing. He was on every tackle. He was around every tackle. He was doing what he does. They didn't score an offensive touchdown. And I promise you, if Ray Lewis wasn't on the field, they would have lost the game. Well, Anquan Bolden, he did his thing on offense, but Ray Lewis was, man, he just turns every. A guy like that, when you got a guy like that on your team that can just turn everybody else on, their defense hadn't played like that since he left. Their defense, they've been getting ran all over, thrown all over. The defense stepped up and played ball. Ray Lewis, hey, salute to you, sir. You are doing your thing. I can see the I can see the Ravens making a run. Nah, we'll get to that when I come with the predictions. We'll talk about it next week. Um, let's see, moving right over to the a- NFC. What happened to Christian Ponder? What was wrong with him? Did he hurt his Did he hurt his elbow in the game before, or or what? Because some with this wild card, it seems like they're not. You know, the injury report is is behind closed doors all of a sudden you know you seen last week or weeks during the season the injury report is out there weeks in advance you know what's going on it's like we don't know anything all of a sudden a day before well christian potter is something wrong with his elbow he can't go so joe webb steps in joe webb is garbage i don't care who says something different he can run whatever joe webb is garbage he cannot throw a pass he does not need to be in the nfl playing quarterback and that's just what it is um, Agent Peterson, I think he got a hundred yards. You know the Packers, they had something. They had something. They keyed on him. They didn't have anything to worry about in the passing game. Hell, put seven guys in the box and stop the run. Pretty basic tendencies. Basic, simple game plan. Uh, Christian Ponder, I don't know what's wrong or what what the deal is, but hey, you know you got to suck it up if you can go. Um. Packers did their thing, man. Aaron Rodgers, you know, he was out there. He was hitting the targets he needed to hit. Uh, but it made it made it real easy for him because they were at a disadvantage without Christian Ponder. You you put Christian Ponder in that game, I think the game goes a different way because you have different things you have to do on defense that Christian Ponder will make you do because he can throw the ball. He can stretch the field. So, I don't know. Packers got it. You know, they're moving on to San Francisco. Um, RG3. Redskins in Seattle, another one that I got wrong. I'm not going to sit up here and say, well, if RG3 was healthy, they would have won the game. No, I'm not going to say that because we don't know that. Seattle Seahawks, they play four quarters. That's the one thing that people don't realize. They play four quarters. I knew they played four quarters. I, you know, when I made my pick, they were both hot teams, but I seen Washington winning this one with that run game and that balanced attack. But, you know, Seattle Seattle secondary is something to worry about. They, they're big, they're physical, they're fast, they cover well, and they beat up receivers. So I, w- I would definitely look out for Seattle doing something. They could go pretty deep. Uh, I think they got the Falcons next week, which I think they will win. And, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the wrap-up for the wild card. Um, well, let me go ahead and just... Roll right into the divisional predictions. Why why not, since we're here? Uh, Let's see. Texans at the Patriots. Uh, In Foxborough, last time that happened, the Texans came up there. I think it was on either a Monday night game 
or a Sunday night game, one or the other, but the Texans got smashed. Uh, I don't see them getting smashed this time around. I think the Texans will lose the game, but I don't see them getting smashed. Uh, that offense is just too much, man. Tom Brady, he can make anybody look good. They got Gronkowski coming back, so that's just another added weapon that they didn't have before when they smashed him. If Matt Schaub can control the clock, he can make the game interesting. If he cannot turn the ball over, capitalize in the red zone, they have a chance of winning the game. Or at least making it interesting. But I got the Patriots winning this one. Let's go on down. Denver and Seattle. Denver and the Ravens. It's in Mile High in Denver. So uh, Peyton Manning, man, come on. You, you can't bet against Peyton Manning. This is Peyton Manning. And he he's he missed the whole last season. And he came back. It was like he would not missed a day. But like he was never injured. He's out here throwing touchdown after touchdown. And I, I, I guarantee... Nobody can name their starting four wide receivers. Nobody can name their first four wide receivers on the wide receiver depth chart. Nobody can. I don't. Maybe you know. There's a few out there. There's a few that are fans. I know I can't. I, I know. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> Straight up, I don't know. So, I got the Broncos winning that one. Um, I don't think it'll get ugly. I think it'll be a close game. But I think in the end, Peyton Manning will pull it out. He's going to do what he does. Playoff time, crunch time. It's time to go. Uh, let's go on right over to the NFC, Seahawks and Falcons. The Seahawks are going to come into the Georgia Dome, beat the Falcons, and beat them bad. This is going to be ugly. The Falcons, they don't win in playoffs. They they do all this stuff in the regular season. I think they're 13-3, and three, number one seed. They're staying home. But Matt Ryan turns into Matty Ice in the playoffs and goes cold. He does nothing. And next Sunday or next Saturday, whenever the game is, he's going to do nothing again. Um, yes, yeah, that's just it, man. I'm, I'm just not. The Falcons just are not. They're not the playoff type team, man. They're good in the regular season. They're gonna lose in the playoffs once again, like they've been doing for the last, I think, two or three years. The big game, Packers and 49ers. This game has a lot of history, man. Back a long time ago, you know, I was one of the, I was one of the 49er fans that was out there when the Packers played them, and T.O. caught the game-winning catch. Man, I cried. Cause I was so happy that he caught that ball. Then I don't know, man. The 49ers, we just they just started trading players, getting rid of To, and I didn't like the direction the team was going. So hey, I had to go back home, Philadelphia. It is what it is. But I got the Niners winning this one. The Niners, are gonna, the Green Bay's coming in to San Francisco. That defense, it hey, it did it to him earlier this year. It's going to do it to him again. The defense is just too much. And then you got on offense, you got Frank Gore. He can run the ball anywhere he wants to. Kaepernick is managing the game. He can take off running. He can pass. Vernon Davis should be back. Um, they have Mario Manningham. I think he's gone for the season. Vernon Davis should be back. Uh, let's see. Of course, Moss Crabtree has been showing out lately. Yeah, I got him on the fantasy team. He failed me. But anyways, the Crabtree has been showing out. So I got the Niners winning that one. So let me wrap it up. I got Niners over the over the Packers, Seahawks over the Falcons, I got Broncos over the Ravens, and I got the Patriots over the Texans, you know. And uh, that's it for the podcast, man. That's the wrap up. You know, you can check me out three w's dot facebook dot com backslash tuck seven uh, zero. You can email me btucker seventy at gmail dot com. You know, leave your comments, leave feedback. I appreciate you guys for checking in, tuning in, listening, uh, spread the word, you know, I'm out here. <laughs> Anybody trying to get on here, you know, I'm, I'm definitely looking for somebody to call so we can sit down, take about 30 minutes, just go over a sports wrap up or make predictions or just talk sports, any sports, football, basketball, baseball, the whole night. But right now it's football season, so that's what we talk. We talk football. And this is me signing off.